streamers. Today we're going to show you the three best paid apps that you should have if you do own a streaming device. But before doing so, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a like so that we can continue making some great content for you. Now, I'm going to start with Disney Plus and I know this is something uh, awkward, but it has to do with the fact that Disney Plus has surpassed Netflix on its amount of global subscribers. They're about, about around somewhere 50 million active users and it's because they have recently launched the service in Europe so it means there's a lot of more people streaming Disney Plus. Also it's the price. Disney Plus is offering you uh, three devices on HD quality for $6.99 which is cheaper than what is being offered by Netflix and also they do have an extensive family and uh, content regarding Star Wars, Disney, Pixar, I mean a lot of movies that used to be in Netflix. As soon as the agreement expires with them, they're coming back to uh, Disney's own streaming platform, which is Disney Plus. So this is something that it's worth checking out. You can get the free trial for seven days. And right now, you might be wondering why I have two screens. The one on the left is Disney Plus on a Roku device. The one on the right is Disney Plus on our Amazon Fire device. We're outside the US, so we do need to have a VPN service with a DNS. And it's the one that we strongly recommend in all of our videos. You can get it on the link on the description or on the cards. On the Roku, you only need the DNS. On the Amazon Fire, it's worth getting the VPN. However, it depends on what you want. The great thing about Disney Plus is the amount of content available, so it's worth checking it out. And please do be very aware that you will need the DNS or the VPN in either case if you own a Roku or an Amazon Fire to get access to it if you're outside the US. The second worth mentioning is Netflix. It's the old veteran streaming service. It's really good. I know that a lot of people would say that it's kind of outdated, but it really isn't. Netflix has been doing a lot of effort by creating its own content. The problem with Netflix is that it has become a little bit more expensive through time. And it's because they have been investing so much money on making their own content that they need to make some profits from it. Now, there's something tedious about Netflix, and it's the fact that the content of your Netflix library varies depending on where you are located, which is why we're using a VPN here in our Amazon Fire in order to unlock all of the Netflix content libraries. For instance, right now we're checking out Netflix from the UK, but you can actually access content from Latin America, from the US, from Canada. It all depends on the VPN that you're using, and it only works on the Amazon Fire devices, and also on your tablets, and some phones, and yes, your PC. Do not try it on the Roku devices, because it will not work. Since Roku checks out not the IP, but also other stuff, and you cannot modify it unless you have a Wi-Fi router which is VPN enabled. So just remember that. It is still the second most popular uh, streaming service around the world and it still has some great content. But yes, it is not as family as oriented as Disney Plus and you might not find all of the great Disney content here because Disney has been uh, finishing the contracts that they had with Netflix in order to regain and retain the access and exclusive rights to Disney, Pixar, and DC Comics, and Marvel as well on their own platform. So remember that. Now, the third one, which I would like to talk about, is Prime Video. And there's something curious about Prime Video because there's actually two or three Prime Video services. The first one is the Prime Video in the US, which is different from the Prime Video in Latin America which is the one that I'm showing you right here. The Prime Video from Latin America does not have live content, which is means that it doesn't have live sports as the Prime Video in the US does. And that's something to point out. But why is this difference? Well, because of the transmission rights that Amazon Prime has in the US. Now, right now, since we're in a quarantine and a lockdown, I'm pretty sure you will not be able to get a lot from the sports or the live sports because there's none, or there might be. But still, if you want to try out the 
Amazon Prime from Latin America, you will be surprised by the huge amount of new content and also TV shows and movies. It's more updated than the one from the States. However, it doesn't have any live sports, so that's the main difference. The one in the US does have. However, if you have an Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV in the US and you bought it there, the US location com comes hard coded on it, so you will not be able to switch regardless of having a VPN, unless you have the Amazon Fire International version. You can still switch on Roku devices if you have the VPN again on your router, or if you have perhaps a streaming device that it's Android based, such as Xiaomi MyBox. So, yes, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, stay at home, stay safe, and enjoy all the great content streaming services to offer right now. Thanks for watching and goodbye.